This video is brought to you by Ultium 365 via the World Designs Electronics and Octopod, the fastest search engine for electronic parts. Nowadays, smartphones or cell phones flooding the market are mostly equipped with the fingerprint module feature, which is often used for the unlocking of a cell phone. If you have a slightest of experience to design an Android application, you can easily design an Android biometric fingerprint application. You can design a student's attendance system. You can control your car and you can even keep your door lock under your control. And as such, you can plan a number of related projects. As I'm basically designing this project for the beginners, I will attempt to explain its every aspect in detail. Guys, you do not have any need to bother at all in case you have not used Android Studio. You can download the complete project source code of fingerprint application from my Patreon page. You will find its link below in the description. So, in today's episode, you will learn how to make the most highly secured door lock control system using Arduino Nano, Phil Volt electronic door lock, one channel relay module, HC05 Bluetooth module, a smartphone with fingerprint module, and my designed Android biometric fingerprint application. I have connected everything as for the circuit diagram, which I will explain in a minute. First, I'm going to explain how this project works, and then I will start practical demonstration. The cell phone connects with the Arduino through a Bluetooth connection. So the door unlock command is sent wirelessly, which eliminates the need for any physical wiring. Since we are not using a dedicated fingerprint module with the Arduino, so it reduces the project cost, wiring, size, and most importantly, the programming. So let's kick off our practical demonstration and afterward, I will explain everything else. Ultium 365 lets you hold the fastest design reviews ever. Share your designs from anywhere and with anyone with a single click. It's easy. Leave a comment taking your teammate and they will instantly receive an email with a link to the design. Anyone you invite can open the design using a web browser. Using the browser interface, you are able to comment, markup, cross probe, inspect and more. Comments are attached directly to the project, making them viewable within Ultim Designer as well as through the browser interface. Design, share and manufacture all in the same space with nothing extra to install or configure. Connect to the platform directly from Ultim Designer without changing how you already design electronics. Ultim 365 requires no additional licenses and comes included with your subscription plan. Get real-time component insights as you design with Octopart built into Ultium 365. Octopart is the fastest search engine for electronic parts and gives you the most up-to-date part data like specs, data sheets, gate models, and how much the part costs at different amounts etc. right in the design environment. So you can focus on your designs. Links to the Ultium Designer. Ultium 365 and Octopart are given in the description. I have powered up all the electronics. Now I can open the Android biometric fingerprint application and start controlling the electronic door lock. Only the smartphone owner can open the door lock. The same application can be installed on multiple cell phones to control the same electronic door lock.
I'm sure by now you might have got an idea of how does this system work. So without any further delay, let's get started. <laughs> The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. On the left side is the 5 volt regulated power supply based on the LM7805 voltage regulator. Two 470 microfarad decoupling capacitors are connected with the input and output legs of the voltage regulator. The 7805 voltage regulator accepts a wide range of input voltages between 7 and 28 volts. This means you can power up this entire project using a solar panel or 12 volt DC adopter or a 12 volt battery etc. You can clearly see that 12 volts are connected with the input leg of the 7805 voltage regulator, VCC of the 12 volt relay module and is also connected with the common contact of the relay module to supply 12 volts through the normally open contact to control a 12 volt electronic door lock. So the 12 volts are used to control the relay module and electronic door lock while the regulated 5 volts are used to power up the Arduino Nano and HC05 Bluetooth module. Digital pin 13 on the Arduino is used to control the relay module. The TXT and RXT pins of the Bluetooth module are connected with the D2 and D3 pins of the Arduino. I already have a very detailed article on how to design your own Android cell phone application. This application is designed in the same exact manner. The only difference is the addition of the fingerprint programming. You can download the fingerprint application source code from my Patreon page. Once you open the project code, you will get an idea how I made certain changes. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the programming. I started off by adding the software serial.h header file. Using software serial library, I can define multiple serial ports. I don't want to connect my Bluetooth module with the Arduino's default serial port, so that's why I decided to use software serial to define another serial port on pins 2 and 3. I also defined a variable data of the type long integer for storing the incoming data. Relay module is connected with a digital pin 13. For this project, I selected 92 as the password. You can increase the number of digits. You can also define a string type variable and this way you will be able to use numbers, letters and special characters to define the strongest password. Inside the setup function, I set the relay module as output device and I also activated the serial ports. Inside the loop function, we have a few lines of code. If no data is received from the Android application, then do nothing. And if data is received, then simply read the serial port and store the data in variable data. If the number stored in data matches with the password 1, then the door is opened for 5 seconds. And if a wrong password is received, nothing happens. So that's all about the programming. I have powered up all the electronics. Now I can open the Android biometric fingerprint application and start controlling the electronic door lock. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching. Only the smartphone owner can open the door lock.
The same application can be installed on multiple cell phones to control the same electronic door lock. I'm sure by now you might have got an idea of how does this system work. So without any further delay, let's get started. 